After the phenomenal and well-earned success of the Mario Kart series, it would seem that just about every franchise in existence has a kart racing game. Most of which turn out to be fairly playable, mediocre games. But few ever come close to Mario. Until now. Dude, sweet. Survive, Flippy. Is that Crazy Taxi an afterburner? Yes. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed is awesome. It actually surpasses some of the newer Mario Kart games. And it does it with help from Space Channel 5, Panzer Dragoon, Knights into Dreams, Crazy Taxi, Shinobi, Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed has burning people with monsters and cutting them in half a tube while dancing. Skies of Arcadia, Metal Sonic, Burning Rangers, and Danica Patrick. What? Heading for Victory Lane. Was she the end boss in Fantasy Star 2? <laughs> Two strange additions to this game. Danica Patrick and Wreck-It Ralph, one of whom is a fictional character, the other is in Disney movies. You did it! First place! Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed may have a silly lengthy title, but it gets it right everywhere. The racing is excellent, the track designs are even better, and the difficulty level is perfect. There's three difficulty settings per race, and you earn stars depending on which one you drive. The hardest difficulty can earn you up to three of them, and you'll unlock new characters and new tracks with the stars. Owning the race. If you play a lot of kart racing games, you'll find the medium difficulty satisfactory, but put the game on hard and it puts up one hell of a good fight. You'll need both luck and skill to win. And while there are power-ups, none of them are so cheap that they'll send you from the back of the pack to first place on the last lap. Now the transformed in the title does not mean that you'll be transforming into Optimus Prime or anything, and that's too bad. I wish they would have sprung for that license instead of Danica Patrick, uh, unless Sega owns her. I mean, she was in Fantasy Star 2, right? I, or did I dream that? The transformed in the title means that in most of the races, you'll be transforming from a cart to a boat to a plane. Or at least one or two of those. It sounds gimmicky, but it's great fun, and it makes this game more than the average licensed kart racing game. In fact, all of this stuff combined with some great Sega Dreamcast and Saturn references make Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed one of the best games of 2012. Although, where's my House of the Dead reference? Oh, there it is. Now, how about Yakuza Dead Souls? Come on, DLC? He paid it. Right. Escape. Blowfish. Yeah, that's right, I'm driving as Beat in the House of the Dead mansion. It's a Sega fanboy or fangirl's dream, but the game also rocks regardless of that fact. It's just really fun. And it's well balanced, especially at the harder difficulty levels. It's a great driving game that'll keep you racing for quite some time trying to unlock everything. And trust me, it's addictive. You'll want to unlock everything. There's also online racing and a coupon for a free romantic dinner with uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Excellent. Second place. You'll get your hopes up, though. I think they always send a chaperone along on those things, and I made it up. In addition to the standard racing, there's also some drift competitions, which are straight out of Tokyo Extreme Drift. Although a lot more colorful, there's also boost races, battle races, and it's just a great game. Whether or not you're a Sega fan, this is a good kart racing game. And if you are a Sega fan, well, you're going to love it. This is the PlayStation 3 version. It's also on Xbox 360, 3DS, and Sega Dreamcast 2. Drift. 
inventory. Which isn't released yet, it's basically the 32X adapted for use on the Saturn with a VMU card. So, the best thing ever. This one comes highly recommended. Great fun. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. A bit fail. I feel so... so used. <laughs>